Gaza needs to be controlled. What do you think? We're supposed to protect ourselves with our bare hands in front of RPGs, in front of guns, in front of people that come to slaughter us? Israel is allowed to protect itself. So today we have the privilege of speaking to Dr. Gedalia Fenton, a dedicated medical professional who has provided crucial care to those affected by the Israel-Palestine conflict. How are you, sir? I'm fine. You know, even though my soul is probably hurt, but I'm fine. So are you at a safe place right now? Yes, I'm behind a wall and if any bombs so I should be in a safe place, probably. As you are joining us live from Israel, we want to get some information, like what is the current situation there? Yeah, so now it's a war zone, basically. Um, a lot of bombing, uh, people that are frightened, and the army that's doing its job to try to protect. Um, it's a very scary situation. Can you describe the challenges you are facing while treating patients in such a politically charged and volatile environment? Yes, the challenges are um, that the people come, the soldiers and afterwards the refugees, they come with all different injuries. If it's uh, abdominal or chest injuries, if it um, is people that can't breathe, because they were uh, exposed to a lot, a lot of smoke from the houses burning down. Um, traumatized soldiers and citizens. Basically, it's taking care of a big, big variety of, uh, of health and medical situations, which require um, good experience and very fast work to know who to send by helicopter and who to send by a, uh, ambulance, who could stay and wait um and it was a lot a lot of work it's for me it's for a lot of hours i would say like 36 or 37 hours i did not sleep and only take care of patients what lessons and insights can the rest of the world can gain from your experience of the war the main thing i would say is that finally everybody has to understand the whole world has to understand that hamas took off the custom hamas let us know that they are pure, pure anti-Semites, they are ISIS. No, no difference. There is no difference between them and ISIS. In order for us to have a better country, in order for the Palestinian citizens to have a better life, to use money in the right way, not for missiles, not for guns. Um, it's a better Middle East. That's what we're planning. That's what we need. That's what you and India need. The whole world needs it. Holocaust survivors, he went through so much, kidnapped, killed. It is something important for you to understand, for the world to understand, to be in shock. Can you describe the situation that was on 7th October and today? A lot of dead people, so many dead people. I was just getting uh, injured and dead, injured and dead, injured and dead. It was very confusing. But the Israelis, the citizens, knew that the army is going to take control. And finally, today, we're controlling it. We know where the target we need to bomb. Unfortunately, Hamas is using the kids, using the citizens. They are not letting citizens leave. We are taking care in hospitals of terrorists. We want the Middle East not to be painful. We want the Palestinians to have a better life over there. I am friends with a lot of Muslims. I know Palestinians from Gaza. They come to work in Israel. They are good people. They're people that need help. So as we know that you are in a war zone and that's the worst thing a person can ever be at. So can you recall one single case that you have actually treated and you will never be able to forget that case? It was a soldier that just got married two days and we are from he was from and from do not have kids before they get married and he was shot in his testicles and all he wanted to know will he be able to have a kid the other case that i'll never forget is me treating a dead person 
not treating, but saying that he's dead and covering him. And because we don't have weapons to protect us, I took his weapon. I'm carrying it on me now. It's against what I'm allowed to do. So what is your message to the world from that war zone? As I said, first of all, the message is the most important. Nobody, no matter their race, no matter their religion, no matter who they are and where they live, no one has to go through this horrible scene, horrible feeling. Nobody has to be a refugee, especially in its own country. The world needs to know that Gaza needs to be controlled. It's not occupying, to be controlled until all the terrorists are wiped out of there. Thank you so much, Doctor. Stay safe and our prayers are with you and Israel. Okay, thank you.